Top 10 Cards You Should Keep In Your Pokemon Deck When you're first starting out with Pokemon, it can be difficult to know which cards are worth keeping in your deck. You don't want to waste anything you collect, and you don't want to build a deck that doesn't have a chance to win any matches. Playing a variety of different cards allows you to build a deck that has a fair chance of winning all the matches it takes part in. That being said, not every card is worth keeping in your deck. Luckily, this guide will help you sift through the cards that are worth keeping, and the ones you should cut from your deck. Keep reading to learn more about this topic and much more about Pokemon. Top 10 Cards You Should Keep In Your Pokemon Deck Here are 10 cards that you should keep in your deck if you want to be successful. 1. Ultra Ball 2. Pokemon Catcher 3. Professor Sycamore 4. Level Ball 5. Dusk Ball 6. Pokemon Center Lady 7. Max Potion 8. Energy Retrieval 9. Timer Ball 10. Professor Birch's Observations When you're first starting out with Pokemon, it can be difficult to know which cards are worth keeping in your deck. You don't want to waste anything you collect, and you don't want to build a deck that doesn't have a chance to win any matches. Playing a variety of different cards allows you to build a deck that has a fair chance of winning all the matches it takes part in. That being said, not every card is worth keeping in your deck. Luckily, this guide will help you sift through the cards that are worth keeping, and the ones you should cut from your deck. Keep reading to learn more about this topic and much more about Pokemon. Pokemon you can't live without. There are a number of cards that you can't live without if you want to be successful with Pokemon. These are the cards you should always try to keep in your deck. A few of these cards include Pokeball You can't play any matches without these. The Pokeball is the ultimate starter item for any player. They allow you to capture and store Pokemon, and they're used in every match. Ultra Ball An upgrade to the Pokeball. This card has more chance of capturing a Pokemon than the Pokeball does. It's usually only worth keeping one Ultra Ball in your deck though, as it doesn't work on every Pokemon encounter, unlike the Poke Ball. Switch this card is great for switching out an opponent's active Pokemon for a new one, or switching out yours if something bad happens to your current Pokemon. It's not always easy to get back out of a tough situation once it occurs, so having Switch will give you back some control over those matches where things start going south quickly. Good card for a particular strategy, if you're playing a deck that relies on one specific strategy, then it might not be worth keeping other cards that don't fit in with your strategy. For example, if you're playing a deck that relies on speed and rushing your opponent, then it might not be worth keeping cards that don't help you achieve this goal. Keep in mind before you decide to cut anything. Before you decide to cut any cards from your deck, you should think about the following questions. What is the point of this card? What is its effect on my deck? How often will I use this card? How valuable is it on the battlefield? Will I be able to replace it easily if something happens to it? These are all important questions that need to be answered before you decide to cut a card. If you can't answer them with certainty, then it's best not to cut the card. In most cases, the cards that should be cut are ones that have little value and don't do much for your deck. While they may be worth keeping at first, over time they'll become less important as you build up a more competitive deck. Bottom Line This guide is a great way to learn what cards you should keep in your Pokemon deck. It covers all the basics that beginners need to know, and it offers some expert advice that seasoned players may not have considered.